No? Alright, yeah, I'm not as cool as Peter Capaldi. Alright guys, welcome to Doctor Who Reviews. Stay tuned to the end of the episode so you can find out who won the Doctor Who Sonic Spork. It's coming back, you guys. The Sonic Screwdriver is coming back, I promise. I promise. And also find out who will be winning our new prize. We got something fantastic. So stay tuned, and here goes Doctor Who Reviews. Spoilers. Concept. All right, who else is losing their mind right now? That was amazing, an absolutely incredible episode. Uh, completely got a curveball and we saw a lot of really, really incredible n new ways of presenting time travel as well as uh, showing the Doctor in really, really in his element. This is a fantastic way to end the series. I think these two-parters might be an ongoing thing after uh, seeing how they worked out, especially uh, with the transition of that single parter that came in that people just were not feeling. I think two-parters are going to be a new thing, and who knows, maybe Moffat's trying to bring back the four-parter. <laughs> but anyways, uh, back to our concept. We do have a very, very solid um, story here. We have a really great um, uh, cinematography. We have great um, movement of the plot. The, the pacing was fantastic. Concept, I gotta say, five out of five hashtags. All right, let's look at this plot. Now, there is a lot going on in here. I was talking before about how there was definitely an Arthurian vibe going, but one thing that actually came a little bit out of uh, out of the field for me, which I started understanding as soon as it went into uh, him breaking down the wall, was also we're looking at Grimm's fairy tales. We have sort of this line of, of how we're taking Western literature, just European-based literature, what makes up that, that real uh, core of, of uh, the fairy tale allegory the plot here we had these uh, this character come in who we didn't we didn't recognize we didn't know we had a lot of ideas about it they want you to there's so many great red herrings their hands look like silence and the way they moved was slow moving they were um, in this sort of clockwork kind of uh, area so maybe it's a clockwork thing maybe it's uh, maybe it's Missy maybe it's you know who, who we have all these villains coming out we have all these things that it could be we have uh, who is the doctor's greatest villains you know we um uh, at one moment i knew I, I was thinking the return of the uh um guardians and sadly i am fo foiled again but soon they're coming back i know they are trust me guardians are returning that in fact that's the hashtag for the show guardians are returning but for blot i gotta say four out of five hashtags Character. So let's talk about me for a minute. That's right, Maisie Williams. In this episode, we learned so much about this character. We have now discovered that there is a depth and there is a weight to this character that we could not possibly imagine because of one line. That's the line. That's right, me. Me is going to be the downfall. Me is going to be the new queen of this Avalon. This this rise of Gallifrey will not be at the hands of the Gallifreyans anymore. Instead, it will belong to me. Now, this depth uh, and this idea, I've, we've seen Moffat use words and in the characterization of only the Doctor basically dealing with his own demons and realizing at the very end that everything about him is an antithesis of what is humanity. This one human who was on Earth at this one time he is discovering that that is what he needs to become. And so it brings us back to what my predictions were at the very beginning. And hopefully this is something that we're going to see, which is this is Merlin or the doctor taking someone like me, a human, and bringing them into a royal position as queen of the Gallifreyans. And this right now is a powerful and very wise move, especially with this big movement we're seeing of the feminist movement, of the star generation, of this move forward to show that women can be in power. If that's the case it goes, if that's the direction we see, excellent, we'll see how that works out. But uh, as far as characters go, five out of five hashtags. Peter Cabaldi was absolutely incredible. I don't have much more to say for overall. Honestly, between the concept plot and characters, everything was wrapped up so beautifully to start a story. We see this overarching plot where the Doctor has to get through his most terrifying ordeal yet. And it was basically something he created, his own mind, his own confessions that he has to deal with. 
and that was not only presented and executed beautifully, but it just was a small part of what then would be a larger story. And not only physically, but then over we see that uh, metaphor really play through. So I'm really looking forward to the rest of the series. I am. I don't think I can wait for season 10. It's it's coming along beautifully. And as we know, 10 in Doctor Who is always the best. So season 10 is definitely going to be the best season, obviously. But uh, we're going to see what happens, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, can't wait to see you all there. Five out of five hashtags overall. Giveaways. That's right, it is the Sonic Spork. It's awesome, and it now belongs to the very lovely Valerie Hudson. Congratulations, Valerie, we're so happy for you. Go to facebook.com forward slash that hashtag show and send a message uh, to us so with your address and so we can get this to you. We wanna give it to you, it's awesome, you want it. All right, and now we have a new giveaway, a personal favorite of mine, and uh, I'm gonna give it to somebody very special. K9. Uh, do you want to go home with somebody uh, very special and, and be given away? That's wonderful. Well, how do they uh, how do they, they win you? Let's let, let, tell them how they win you. No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't get defensive. What you need to do is actually just go ahead and comment here in the video and go ahead and comment hashtag THS. The Guardians are returning, and you will have a chance to win our dear little canine here. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. All right. You. Small child, tell everyone in your village, go to the city and tell them to like, subscribe, and share. For everything trending in geek pop culture, I'm Isaac here at the Comic Bug in Manhattan Beach, and this is That Hashtag Show.